Twitch needs to change this so that all affiliates, every time they stream, get transcoding. Hello and welcome. I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're having a really, really good day. Welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about transcoding, its process, what it is, how it applies to you as a streamer, YouTube versus Twitch. I'm going to be talking a lot about the differences between a partner on Twitch to an affiliate to a non-affiliate or partner. I'm going to be going into a little bit of detail about the actual screen sizes around the world, and I'll basically explain the implications of transcoding to you. It's a very short video. If you find parts of this video really useful, I'd appreciate if you hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to to my channel, do loads of streaming videos, Discord, stream decks, Go XLRs, hardware, software, all kinds of stuff for streamers and content creators. Also, you're more than welcome to come check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Let's go. First of all, what is transcoding? Um, it sounds really complicated. It's pretty straightforward. It's basically the process of converting an audio or video file from one encoding format to another in order to increase the number of compatible target devices media file can be played on. It's not the same as encoding. Encoding is normally encoding some for a specific file format, while as transcoding is making encoded formats more available for other formats uh, and therefore able to be played on multiple different screens and resolutions and things like that. And they're not the same thing, but it's really, really important. And obviously Twitch uses transcoding. Any media platform like YouTube and so on will use transcoding too. I'm just going to talk briefly about what the common screen screen resolutions are because this is quite important so by far the most common resolutions are displayed here obviously 1920 1080 is a really really common one you're pretty safe if you're streaming at 1920 by 1080 the problem is if there's no transcoding and we'll get into a bit more detail about this in a second that can potentially limit your content to only a number of people in certain regions but as you can see here the common resolutions are what they are but with OBS studio and Streamlabs OBS you can set the dimensions of your canvas resolution and then normally you can resize that to a output resolution as well. So essentially you're saying you can define what your input resolution is and your output resolution in the software that you're using to broadcast on. So you've got quite a lot of flexibility over this. I wanted to show these stats here because they're really, really important to something I'm going to talk about a bit later in the video. This is the global stat counter of screen resolutions, but I think it takes into account a wider array of screen resolutions. So screen resolution stats worldwide. The common resolutions here, I think we're actually in the US say but these are worldwide now obviously twitch and youtube are worldwide streaming platforms they're not just targeting the major regions like america like certain parts of europe and things like that there's a massive viewership in South America, for example, and in the Far East as well. Most streamers have had a situation where a certain person will say it's not working very well for me or it's buffering or something like that. And that's normally an issue with their internet and the amount of data that they're trying to get from your content into their sort of bottlenecked internet. And of course, if you're outputting in 1920, 1080 and they can only handle, let's say, a 540 or a 360, that's going to cause bottlenecks. It's going to cause buffering. It's going to degrade the experience for them unless, of course, they can choose to reduce the quality by transcoding and we'll show this in a second but i did really really want to show these stats because if you actually look at this 360 by 640 4 by 896 uh, and this one here is quite a small one so you've got like four percent here four and let's say six and a half here you've got the best part of whatever 15 percent 15 to 20 percent of screen sizes really quite small screen sizes and this is like a global counter here i'll drop this link below because you may want to play around with this you can filter by region and things like that for instance if you're specifically trying to target a particular market and you may want to consider different screen resolutions based on the target market screen sizes on average. But the, one of the reasons why I wanted to show this, I was really surprised at just how many people are watching on small screen sizes. So why is transcoding important? Well, transcoding is not really a benefit to the streamer. If you can output at one resolution or another resolution, it broadly doesn't matter to your content. You're going to be doing the same things regardless of your resolution, really. Transcoding to you as the streamer is not as relevant as it is to your viewers. And now the thing is, it's the amount of viewers that it can open up to you if you have transcoding options. Now, if you don't know what transcoding is, I'm just going to jump into YouTube. Here's one of my videos recently. This has been transcoded by YouTube and every video will get transcoded down by YouTube and the highest transcoding value that it will be will always be what you've submitted it as. It can't create more pixels. All they can do is cut your pixels down if that makes sense. So YouTube, what they do, they will start at the top. So I've submitted this at 1080. They will always do a 720, 480, 360, 240 and a 144 if you've submitted at 1080. If you've submitted at 720 then it'll do all of those. If you submit it at 480 it'll do all these below it. Similarly if I submitted in, in 4K it would then drop it with a 1080 and then all these as well.
well. YouTube does that as a matter of course, Twitch does not. And we'll get into some of the details about this. So here's an example of transcoding on Twitch. Uh, here's my buddy, Lucky GG. He's currently doing a 24 hour stream. He's 21 hours into it. He's got three hours left. Shout out to you, Lucky. Hope you do really well on your 24 hour stream. For whatever reason, as an affiliate, Lucky has been able to get transcoding for this stream. And maybe this is because he is doing a 24 hour stream and it's been given to him part of the way through the stream. Or maybe he had it from the start because of low demand. But the point is he does have transcoding. Let's just have a quick look at what that looks like for an affiliate. So we now click on this cog icon in the bottom right here in the settings on desktop. You can see that Lucky, he streams in 720 at 60 FPS. That's the source quality. We we can select the source quality. So Twitch has transcoded this down to 480p, 360p and 160p. And the purpose of this is obviously so that this content can be accessible to more different regions and people with lower quality internet. So let's just take a quick look at what that actually looks like in terms of the experience on stream. I've, by the way, I've asked him for a permission here to use this clip. So Lucky, thanks for letting me use your stream as an example here. So let's just drop it to 480. We'll see what the quality drop is here. It's kind of barely noticeable, but you do notice that drop from 720 to 480. Probably the most noticeable drop, in my opinion, is from 480 to 360. See now, we're getting a little bit of tearing on the gameplay. The menus here on Minecraft are not as clear, but some people with really bad internet in certain parts of the world may only be able to watch in 160. And as long as they're getting a consistent stream in here, they may still, believe it or not, enjoy the content. This is particularly useful if it's on a smaller screen as well, because the blurring will be less obvious. Obviously, I'm watching this on a 4k monitor so just to illustrate this i'm just reducing the size of the screen you'll see that the the drop in quality is less noticeable the fewer pixels that you're actually working with well, the key takeaway here is that even though lucky isn't streaming at 1080 he's streaming at 720 he's still being given transcoding and we don't exactly know the reasons why for that other than what we can predict might be the reasons of the algorithm so it's pretty clear that transcoding is really important just for being able to push your content to more broader sets of people. And obviously, then you may get a benefit from it. But the benefit really is in the person being able to just access your content. So who actually gets transcoding on Twitch? Well, we've already established that if you're on YouTube, you will get transcoding no matter what. And that's whether you're live or whether you're submitting video content that's recorded on YouTube. On Twitch, if you're not an affiliate or partner, you will not get transcoding currently. Hopefully that will change in the future but let's be honest if somebody is a fair weather streamer that is treating it purely as a very small time hobby and are not really trying to grow their channel they can't even get past 50 followers as an example transcoding is really not going to matter to those types of people and i know that sounds harsh but when you've only got a couple of people watching it really is not going to matter to those people that being said there are more than a million affiliates and not every affiliate is guaranteed to get transcoding the reason why this is a problem is because it's not really obvious what it's based on as to why you would not get transcoding there's an algorithm i think some of it is demand based because all partners will get transcoding as a guarantee you could argue that transcoding is a benefit of being a partner but the thing is the benefit isn't to the streamer it's just to how many people that streamer can actually access and in real terms it'll be you as the streamer your entertainment value you how much value and entertainment you add that's really going to make the difference between you growing and not growing it won't be the transcode it might add a small amount two percent five percent perhaps it's not going to make a big difference that's still not the point though here the thing is competition for twitch is youtube and they're doing what they're doing and there's a very clear disparity here twitch needs to change this so that all affiliates every time they stream get transcoding okay it might be an expensive thing to do maybe they just need to raise the bar to who actually gets affiliate status there's a few different ways that you can do this so if you're an affiliate how do you actually get transcoding well we don't know exactly how the algorithm works or the allocation of transcoding after it flows down from the partners one thing's for sure if you're a more consistent streamer if you're getting a higher viewership as in perhaps not the 75 average concurrent viewers but if you're in the sort of 15 to 50 or 15 to 75 bracket you're more likely to get it because at that point you've got more people watching you and therefore there is a higher need for it versus somebody that's getting 
or let's say a five average concurrent viewership. Being a consistent streamer, being a streamer that streams frequently and for a long period of time are probably things that are going to help you get the transcoding. There's more than likely a points system that's attached to your profile in the background that you won't know about, which is algorithmic and it gives you a score based on all the different factors to do with popularity and things like that. And the higher up that score that you are, the more likely it will be that you will get transcoding. So in conclusion, transcoding is really, really important because it does open up your content to much more than you might otherwise be able to gain access to. If somebody has an internet that only allows a decent quality stream at 360p and you are streaming and are not getting transcoded from 1080p, you simply will not gain that viewer. That, that's what it comes down to. You cannot have that viewer because he can't have a consistent viewing experience because he won't be able to ingest all of your pixel through his bottlenecked internet. But Twitch do need to change this. I hope they change it soon. It's not a luxury anymore. Transcoding's essential. If you did find this useful, once again, hit the like. Feel free to subscribe, guys, and have a great, great day. Where's the Oasis, boys? <laughs> taking drugs, we're 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 taking drugs,